All right, guys, so hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to do this quick video here. Uh, I did it last night, but I realized uh, I had screwed some stuff up on some parts. That was my fault that I didn't get exactly right, so I'm redoing the entire video. Uh, so, and I wanted to try out my new ca uh, cell phone holder here for shooting videos. Uh, to get up close uh, when I'm doing like working working on everything like install videos so <clears throat> so anyways what we got here this is the bear licensed bear uh, RC four-wheel drive brake kit um, for your TF2 trucks uh, this is for the 1.7 and 1.55 wheel uh, they make them for the 1.9 wheel and I know I think they make them for the uh, 1.95 lug. I don't know if they make it. This one doesn't have the lugs in it. So I'm just going to graze over everything. Everything's already installed on both sides. But I'm going to go ahead and take this one apart. And show you the install on it. Because there's no instructions that come with it. And some of the screws that they sent me with the kit wasn't the right length for everything. So, I'm going to go over that stuff as I'm installing it for you guys. But, uh, anyways, this is a really nice little piece of kit. you got to buy three different parts to get it. And I'm going to go over the part numbers now before we start the install video. So, this is going to be part one here. And then the camera will switch off and go back. And then I'll just loop the videos together. So, like I said, you have three parts, basically, that you're going to have to buy. And like I said... Make sure you're paying attention if you're getting them for the 155 and the 17 or the 1.9 because the 1.9 to the 2.2 wheel is a lot bigger than this. So, I just got the front. I didn't get the rear yet because I didn't want the same size brake rotor on the front as the rear. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably, whenever the rear mounts come back in stock, I'll probably go ahead and pick it up for the rear you know, because it is an aftermarket off-road vehicle, so something that somebody might have swapped four-wheel disc brakes on and done away with the drums that would have been factory in the back of the vehicle, so. With that being said, let's get in here to the part numbers and get that started. So, you're going to need the, this is the caliper set. They are sold individually. You get two calipers in a package, and that'll do both sides. There's your part number. I'm not going to read it out. It's on the camera. I'll hold it there for a second. And you can read there, that's for the two bear, the bear calipers. That's your caliper piece right here. That's the part number. One more time for the caliper, okay? That way you have it. And then the next part you're going to need is going to be, this is the rotors. You get two rotors, so you need one of these packages. Each one of these on RPP is $13.99 a piece. So, they're all priced at $13.99, so you're looking at $14 bucks for your both rotors, $14, bucks, I think, is what it is for the caliper, and then the mount system, I think, is another $14. So, you got those three parts times, basically, you say $15 bucks times three with your shipping, and that'll get you everything you need to do to do the front of your trail finder, too. Uh, so, anyways, your next part, this is the part number. For your actual rotor. So I'm going to get the camera to focus here. Maybe. There we go. Uh, this oh, this is the axle mounts for the for the bare brake system. Rotors and calipers front. So there's the part number for that. Okay. So this comes with your two rotors. It doesn't come with the calipers. Even though it says that, it does not. You have to buy the calipers separate. So there's that. The third one you're going to need is your... Okay, now this this is the... I'm sorry, this is the actual rotor set. So this is the part number. Ooh, if I can get it to focus. Ah, uh, come on, man. Get a little bit closer and I'll slowly go out. If I can get it... Come on, focus. Uh, there we go. That's the rotor set. You get two rotors with that part number right there. Okay? My bad. 
This one is the part number for the actual two calipers. Okay? And then the first one I gave you is the mounts. So you'll need all three of those. Not times two, just one pack, one pack, one pack, and that'll do the entire front. So now that that's out of the way, this is what it looks like fully assembled. Everything fit pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take this apart here and then we'll reassemble it. What sucks because I've already put some Loctite on everything. So I'm going to stop the camera here before this video gets too long. And I'll show you guys proper assembly of this bear brake kit from RC Four Wheel Drive. Be back in just a minute. Okay, guys, so part two. This is basically the parts that you're going to get in your kit. Minus one part that I'll pan up here and show you when, when we're done. So you got your rotor, your slotted drilled disc front rotor. And this is going to lead into one thing that I wanted to go with this kit that I didn't like. The main, the one thing I really didn't like at all. It gives you the same, you know, spacing that you're going to have on your hex. Your hex is built in. The only thing I didn't like is, is your factory hex on your RC full drive has a grub screw that cinches down tight on your stub axle. So you don't got to worry about moving around and your axle pin falling loose out on you. So, that's one thing I wish they kind of would have done with this. But I kind of think they did this with the rotor set is so it can move around on your caliper. That way you're not got it fixed to where, just so it has room to move. Uh, that's why I'm assuming they did that. Uh, I mean, I don't know 100%. But anyways, that's your rotor. And then, you're going to need, this is your what will come in your other pack is your caliper that's your bare caliper the stupid camera to focus bear cat the bare caliper and then in your other package you'll get this which is labeled <coughs> left so you don't screw them up and your secondary mount which is here if i can get the camera to focus and no this isn't one piece bracket this left is the top bracket for your c-hub and then this is your little L bracket for your caliper. And you can see you got two little 1.5 millimeter screws that mounts that caliper bracket to your uh, main top C-hub bracket. And then I'm going to explain to this without taking my C-hub loose. And I'm going to start with that now. And then we'll go into the tools that you need for assembly. So you got your top mount bracket. <clears throat> okay the easiest way to do it is to go ahead use loctite make sure you and i use blue because i don't want these coming out on me because they're super small 1.5 millimeter uh screws i know it's not focusing very well uh maybe it will there there we go okay so there's that and then there's your little those are the two all these screws come in the kit uh for you uh, your little baby, you got, uh, I think they believe these call these cap head screws and these button head or those might be button head, the little, I know, I'm not sure, but, uh, those are the ones that go, but you can pretty much tell these are a little big, these are a little bigger that mount the caliper. Then these are like a 1.5 millimeter that molt, bolt the bracket to the C hub bracket. And then the calipers are like more of like a two millimeter screw. So you'll know which ones go where when you get them. Um, so you'll get this, and then I'm going to go ahead and pan the camera up. When you're installing these, let me zoom in here so you guys can see it better, so you don't make the same mistakes I did. Sorry guys, I am still getting used to this new camera mount. And let me get this focused in a little bit. Better. So, you're going to need, right off the bat... You're going to need your drivers. You're going to need a 2.0 and a 1.5. That's the two drivers you need to assemble this kit. Okay? Ah, stupid camera. 
Sorry, guys. It's my phone, so... All right, so... You can kind of make out this little brass uh, bushing up here, okay? And what you do when you get this, I'm going to take and show you. You need that taller bushing to go inside your C-hub, okay? So, the factory bushing, which is this, this one here, if I can find it on the camera... Let me zoom back out. Sorry, guys. That's your smaller bushing that goes inside your C-hub. This flat flanged end, it goes up. Up into your C-hub. On your knuckle, whatever you want to call it. I call them C-hubs. They're not C-hubs, but it is a knuckle. Because <laughs> that's one piece on this Yoda 2 axle. So, that goes up in. And then this flat part, the shelf end sits inside your housing so you're gonna need the brass one right here okay now the reasoning behind that is is because you'll see the hole right here in your knuckle or c-hub mount it has to sit like this okay so that's why you need this one's not tall enough your factory RC four-wheel drive knuckle or C-hub bushing isn't tall enough because this raises this about a millimeter. Maybe not quite a millimeter. I haven't gauged it. And then here's the problem you run into. The screw they gave me, which is this one right, right here, is way too long in the kit. Second problem, they only gave me one. They didn't give me two. So... This is way too long when you, you can see it sitting in there. When you tighten this down in, it literally tightens into your stub axle and your axle won't free move. So this was trash that they gave me. That's originally why I had put this together wrong because I ended up having to put leave this factory bushing in the, ch in the knuckle and then put the brass one up here, which looks stupid. And then to run the screw down in, then you had your screw sticking up. Okay, it looks stupid. It wasn't right. So I researched around. Sorry, I'm going to move my arm. I researched around. And then I always have a bunch of screws here. I keep screw kits and stuff like that. And uh, there's a place pretty local to me that carries the metric stuff, the M2s and the M3s and whatever, and the different sizes, lengths, and the buttons and the cap heads and all that stuff. So... You're going to get, you need to get yourself, I think this is probably a four millimeter length, three millimeter metric uh, screw, but four millimeter long when my camera ain't focusing for crap. So when you take your knuckle off, you're going to pull your knuckle off, take your factory little steel bushing out, Okay. Put your brass one in place exactly how this one comes out. Your factory one. Okay? Then you're going to slide your knuckle back over here. Your factory mounting screw. Put Loctite back on it. For your bottom, use the factory one. The top one, you're going to need a teensy bit longer. Not a lot longer. Just a little bit longer. And then you'll assemble your bracket like I have it right here. Your caliper faces on the back. We'll set it up here. You guys can get a good look at it. Just like that. Make sure you lock tight everything together. Then your little longer screw is just going to go right down in there. Okay? Just like that. And then that's going to tighten down. Just like that, guys. And you basically got it installed. Now, up here, you'll run into... It gives you the screw... Right here, this is another, I think, this might be a 4 mil. I think this is a 4 millimeter also. Uh, you're going to need a longer screw taking it out of here. This is your steering, factory steering link, which I'm going to be changing out anyways to a Rancho steering stabilizer. Your factory screw isn't threaded into my, personally, safely enough for me. You only get a couple threads. 
So I upgraded this one to another M4 screw, and it doesn't hang out of the bottom where it's going to get hot, uh, hooked on anything or drag. Um, but because this plate does move it up about one millimeter or so, you need a little longer screw. I'll go back through and put Loctite in this stuff later. But you need to leave this, your rear, and your front screw here a little loose. And I'm going to show you a trick. Slide your caliper mount backwards. Okay? Then you want to put your hex pin in your hole of your stub axle. And then this is slotted in the back for your hex pin for your rotor and push it tight. Then this slide your rotor over that. And then put your screws in to hold it from moving around to keep your and that'll hold your pin in there. Putting your screws in. And then I'll go back through and lock tight each one of these later on. Because I'm looking at doing XVDs into these. Uh, just to go ahead and have the XVD axles, stub axles, these. Doing away with the C uh, the dog bone style stuff to get better steering. Because I've already soaked so much money up into this build. I'll never recover financially, like I said before. So I might as well go ahead and throw the XVDs in it. So there you go. Got it properly mounted. Everything's moving and turning like it should. Uh, there we go. No binding or anything like that. And then you'll just tighten everything down. And voila, you have all that stuff installed, guys. There's how you do the, the brakes. It doesn't take very long. Uh, there is instructions, I think, on RC Four Wheel Drive's website, which I ended up going ahead and looking to make sure I was getting it right the second time. And this is how that they say it goes together. Uh, just the screws that they give you, how you can put it together, you can't because it's just way too long. And if you have a Dremel and a cutoff wheel or whatever, you can just cut that screw that they give you. Hopefully they give you both of them. They only gave me one. Uh, you could just cut that down some and then just use that in your knuckle. I'd prefer to just get the proper length screw that you need. Uh, seeing as how these hubs are prone to strip out these knuckles or whatever, I hear people saying they strip out anyways. So that's what it should look like when you got it all together and assembled. We'll get an up close visual here. Me, do, 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 do. And you can see what I'm talking about. That's where your screw, your little brass goes down up and through. And there you go, guys. She's all assembled. Uh, hopefully that helps everybody out. If you have any questions or whatever, you can drop it down below. I don't want to get this video much longer. I'm trying to shorten up my videos uh, just to make them easier for everybody to watch. So that's where we're at in the trail finder. Working on, we got... This, this is all buttoned up and ready to go now. So I'm going to be starting on probably my uh, Rancho diff, diff covers. And I'm going to be going over some stuff, a different separate video for that with you guys. So anyways, the brake kit's upgrade's done. So there you go. If you guys are interested, like I said, make sure you buy the right ones for the right size wheels. They got these are for the 155, the 1.7 rim. And then they have it for the 1.9 rim. So make sure you're buying the right stuff. Anyhow, from the RC Dungeon, peace.